I said it that you need Jesus. This enter beloved, you don't need nothing. No, the only thing that you need is Jesus. You don't even need any man of God. Or oh, when you connect your life to the man of God, that Jesus is useless. But if you have Jesus in your life, He will direct you to the right man of God. The Bible says, continue in prayer. Don't ever stop praying. You've been having some strange dreams. That prayer, that dream will come to pass. Beloved, don't just hack in your faith and say that Satan has troubled me. I am going down. Listen to me. What is in us is greater. Amen. That is in the world. Satan can never call himself first and last. Only Jesus. Only Jesus. The King of Kings. The ruler. The great judge. Only Him. From today, every and day, I see you experiencing good things in your life. I cancel every bad thing that will visit your life. I cancel it right in the name of Jesus. May good things fill your mouth. After today, I see more testimony coming. You have more testimonies. You have more blessings. You have more favor. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give the Lord, give the Lord, give the Lord a big clap. When Bible says, He will satisfy thy mouth with good things. Wherever you find yourself, you will see good things. Wherever you find yourself, say, you see what? Good things. Even those who try to block you, but after they realize the same people will start to do you good. I'm telling the truth. No, clear, Even no, no. those who try to block you, God will use them to bless your life. Because when God fills your mouth with good things, Satan can never put his mouth to remove that good thing God has deposited in your mouth. He can never do it. That's the reason why we serve the living God. After today, may you experience good things. Oh, come on. I say, may you see good things. In your business, may you see good things. Finance, may you see good things. In your dream, may you see good things. Money, may you see good things. Your education, may you see good things. Health wise, may you see good things. In the mighty name of Jesus. Give the Lord a better clap. Please take your seat. Hallelujah. Who satisfied thy mouth with good things? So that thy youth is renewed like what the oh my God eagles. Positive. Now listen to me. There are some of you whilst they are growing. Their financial status decline. But as for you, whilst you are growing, your financial status will grow with you. I said, it will grow with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are some people, whilst they are growing, their health will start deteriorating. It will start declining. But listen to me, beloved. Whilst you are growing, you receive a better health. In the mighty name of Jesus, come on, shout a better amen. <laughs> you are going to renew. God renew your spirits. And very soon, 
when you sit down and you see how God has blessed you you, know, you, can, you cannot even hide it but you ought to thank him very soon there are some of you here those watching me right now time is coming if you see how God will change your life how God will bless you you can never even harbor it but you sit there and start crying and start thanking God and start blessing God and say God who am I for me to be blessed like this come on shout I am blessed hallelujah hallelujah God renew your life he will satisfy your life. He will bless your life. He will favor your life. Hallelujah. Because he's still God. Once he has said it, he will perform it. He will perform it. Tell somebody, once he has said it, he will perform it. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, if you build a church, I will fold the burden for you. Beloved, there is something God has said concerning your life. Don't throw it out. And don't throw it away. Always remember him. That God you told me. That you do this for me. Then satisfy my life. Lord satisfy me. Beloved. Anytime you go before your daddy. Tell him. What he has told you before. Let him know that you are still remember what he told you some years ago. And beloved, if God knows that you are still remember what he told you. Because you say, I'm the Lord, I change us not. Anytime you remember him. That you said this. He will never sit down and look at you just like that. He will come down to perform his duty. After today's service, there are some of you watching me. I see God descending into your situation, into your affairs, and I see changing things in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, what you have said concerning us, he will fulfill it. God told you that uh, this year you will marry that this year you bring forth that this year you travel that this year you open a great business that this year you enter to university that this year you bless you this year you succeed but up to date you have not seen it I came here to announce to somebody don't shut your mouth remember him the Lord you said it to me satisfy my mouth satisfy me with all this prophetic word and beloved as soon as you remember him he will make sure that he will do it after today I see God visiting your life visiting your family visiting any good in your life I see God doing a new thing if you are here with me and if you are watching me why don't you clap your hands and make a grateful noise what to the most high God clap your hands and make a grateful noise what to the most high God we serve a living God but what God has said concerning us he will satisfy us he will do it because he is still God so today I prophesy I prophesy upon your life that from today good things you locate here good things shall locate here powerful things shall locate here in the name of Jesus why don't you shout on to the most Hallelujah! He will 
will satisfy us. Stop crying. I say you do what? He will do, he will do what? So prepare for that. Those who are here and preparing for God's satisfaction within seven days. I said within seven days. It will start from today. I said it will start from today. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 10 to 11. Isaiah 58. Please take your seat. Isaiah 58. 10 to 11. My God, and if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light rise obscurity, and thy darkness be as one new day. Now, So beloved, if today the devil have put you in the darkness, I came out on us to somebody. I see the spirit of the most high God translates you from that darkness into light. He translates you from that darkness into light. I see God changing your story. I said, I see God changing your story. In the mighty name of Jesus. Verse number 11. Oh my God. And the Lord shall guide thee continually. From now to the end of the year. The spirit of God will lead you. He will guide you. Let me say not just guide. But I continue to say. Now, of course, I can say continually. If you are going to market, he will guide you. If your children are going to school, he will guide them. If you are going to work, he will guide you. Wherever you find yourself, he will guide you. Let people do juju. Let them do voodoo things against your life. Let them try everything. Bible says, God will do what? He will guide us continually. You know, anytime it's approaching Christmas, you see battles happening. Bad things. But it is the word of God. He says, and the Lord shall guide thee continually. And the car be marked for accident. You are not going to board that car. When you get to that car, something will happen. Hallelujah. Amen. For you to move to another car. In the car that you bought from today. It's going to be accident free. And the flood that you bought is going to be accident free. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not just de he said, and satisfy thy soul. In drought. Hallelujah. Do you, do you understand here what, what, what the Bible, 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 Bible is teaching us? When you find yourself in a bad mood, bad position, when you see yourself things that you expect from God is not coming, it's, it's what your drought 
se eniema enko ye ni a wo hwehwe fira awade nchai e ma na niema basa basa sa mre ne eye opebre e wo abrabo mu as he says do is draw time but i will continue to satisfy you o si e wo mu se niema ma ye de eye opebre ne nso me ye de me hye wo ma beloved and of all there are some of you when you wake up from bed early in the morning, you don't even have money to buy food. But by the end of the day, God always satisfies you. But you have to know that 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 you have to ye mu bi wo wa sika e kura wo kura no sika no enso wo dam ye nu na enso be hwe no dam ye nu kura bi twa mu na wo kusu ete ase hallelujah amen god do what e radio be ye dey obe hwe wo ma if you are sung here prepare se wo ye ankonam wo ha if you are sung here prepare se wo ye ankonam wo ha wo nware ya ye kra do i heard abundance of more blessing if you are single, prepare. I see abundance of God blessing. Those who are married and looking for something, prepare. I see God do a new thing. And he said, I saw so in God and make fat thy bones. And that shall be like a water garden. And like a spring of water. Now be you say in so be brave. Whose water fail not. I say in so no end with that. Positive. Nyami was shrying. Very soon, beloved, prepare. Under four, your crowd will end check. You are going to shock some people in your family. I say prepare. God is going to use you to change your community. God is going to use you to change your family. Hallelujah. God is going to use you to do wonders in your family. If you want to become tough, he has the power to change things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A clap of the most high God. <laughs> Lastly, Jeremiah 31, verse 14. And I will saturate the soul of the priest with fatness. And my people shall be satisfied. With my goodness, says the Lord. Say in a Let me see. Let me see right there. Hmm. Positive. Say it Positive. Some of you today were renting single room, two bedrooms, three rooms, but little very soon. You will be on my high and die a shame crab. I could be a new man. Now, so much here and check. God is going to change that equation. You are going to have your own place. You will have your own place. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are not going to pay any rent every two years. 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 Time is coming. You are going to be the landlord. You are going to be the house owner. I see God giving you a spiritual kiss. You are going to build your own mansion and live in that mansion in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, shout, I believe. If you have one, one house, prepare for two. If you have two, prepare for more. Last time we went to a place and uh, we asked for a certain apartment. A month cost three thousand five dollars. And maybe you could be a bit here and cry here. Then be almost see me a bit. I say now, Bosumi, one more high and he said, Let's have a summon three thousand five hundred dollars. 
And yes, see this old dollar is a casabo so me pay. Please take your seats. Pamacha will meet and say, Hey, no jail see this old. And yes, it's Ghana see this and they're saying, Hey, Emre. And there's another dollars. place we ask the same thing. Baby, so you be sad. Three bedrooms, hey, five thousand US dollars. And there she shame me and Sano, but so me will bet you have five thousand US dollars. And, hey, yeah. and, yeah. and, yeah. yeah. and, yeah. and Dollars. And where you are living right now? Baby, I would say CA. You are paying 20 Ghana cities. Oh, but so me 20 Ghana and you And even you can't even pay it. And who so I would to me eight year. 20. Some are paying three thousand five dollars, five thousand dollars, and they have paid for two years, one year. Hey, and even in your house where you are living right now, they are charging you fifty Ghana, hundred Ghana, two hundred Ghana. Beloved, if you don't have money to even pay the rent, but after today, I see that equation changing. Amen. I see that equation changing. Amen. I see the equation changing. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Come on, shout about. Amen. Obi, I want to have three thousand five hundred dollars. Obi, I want to have five thousand dollars. But so many, oh no, cry! What you mean? I can't pay my. I to have a fee. Any fee me no dear. What do you fifty Ghana cry? Then you cry. Who pay free ride? Oh, who to me? I to have. Now so many people can't share me say. Saturday piano. Me who say a ride or six ano. Saturday piano. A ride or six ano. Saturday piano. A ride or six ano. I want Jesus Christ to redeem me. I die. There are some of you here even three square meal a day. Yeah, maybe we had to cry. So we made the day me and sir that no cry for no. You find it very difficult. Hey, I need this. So we be, we be nya. Shh. Amen. Now we be to move fufu. Now if I oh he anti, we didn't say because that's a free gym. Hey, fufu kisa. Fufu kisa. Fufu kisa. Ah, are they? Positive. <laughs> Beloved, God will satisfy you. You are not going to remain poor like this. That's I, mean, I am not poor. But I am blessed. That's somebody I am blessed. That's somebody I am rich. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift up your voice and make a joyful noise. Beloved, mm. beloved, I don't fall. Don't pray that God. I want to remain poor so that I will live longer. And can say rather be the person be the here, send the amen here, check. And most of them any be that. Oh yeah, Ella. There is a program they show on DSTV TLC. Hey, DSTV, we move here to media be a whole no more. TLC. TLC. They sell wedding gowns. At times you see Oprah Winfrey on that station. Some of the wedding gowns cost more than $25,000. Even some cost more than $57,000. Hey, I the back home. Some of it cost more than hundred thousand dollars. Every crepe for April, hundred thousand dollars. Hey, and I watched someone. Or well, someone was celebrating her birthday. Now we be a dinner. We done a mission. The man took their wife to where they do diamond ring. Or they need to come be a one more year and kawa diamond ring. And the ring cost the man three point one million dollars. Three point one million dollars. Kawa ba kupodish and That three point one million is not about hundred and thirty billion. Hundred and thirty. Hey, Sikani. Hey, ya mejo biya. Beloved, desire for prosperity. Let me. Local. Prosperity does not create us for some people. For all of us. He says, I will satisfy you. I will satisfy you. 
If you want to become poor, Pastor Frank, want to become great. So I pray that God put me such an arena in life, so that any person that comes to my life will be blessed. So I pray that God put me such an arena in life, so that any person that comes to my life will be blessed. So I pray that God put me such an arena in life, so that any person that comes to my life will be blessed. Because beloved, you will not come to me for me to pray for you, and you did man and said that I'll go, and God will remember you, beloved. Oh. At time is no go, and God will remember you. You have to give the person money for that person to use that money to do what yeah. he needs. And so they be out of war. Over me war. And yam pai bon kwa me bon pai ma wa me siko ne radi be kai u debi. And so they be out of war. And so they see kai day. And peaceful. I said, God bless me. Positive. What about your hands? There is a hotel in Dubai. A night cost thirty thousand dollars. Baby, one why you that whole night excluding food? And you bring one thirty thousand dollars. Said you are in Kahu. Thirty thousand is about one point something, one point two to one point three billion. Mm. And, and, and one point two billion. And before you go to that hotel, you have to book because always it's already booked. I said, "Then be a wire man to be say, 'Oh, come on, come on, say, 'Oh, the kind.' I go show my see and son. I when you walk around, one point two billion. And you last to travel to your hometown. A certain hotel that you slept. It cost around forty Ghana, no air condition. Forty Ghana ceiling fan, and when you return from that village to Accra, you are you are just bragging that I slept at such a hotel. Positive. You think that you have money in your account? That's fifty thousand Ghana cedis. Oh my God! There are certain stores that fifty thousand can never buy anything there. Oh, yes, so be over. We will make myself fifty thousand. No, any of the paper be a bit to me at all. I said it that you need Jesus. This ain't a beloved. You don't need nothing. No, the only thing that you need is Jesus. You don't even need any man of God. Or when you connect your life to the man of God, that Jesus is useless. But if you have Jesus in your life, He will direct you to the right man of God. The Bible says, "Continue in prayer. Don't ever stop praying." You've been having some strange dreams. Would that prayer, that dream, will come to pass? Beloved, don't just hack in your faith and say that Satan has troubled me. I am going down. Listen to me. What is in us is greater. Amen. What is in the world? Satan can never call himself first and last. Only Jesus. Only Jesus, the King of Kings, the ruler, great judge. Only Him.